How you want? This is Kalyan Kumar, and welcome once again to Product Review. In this video, I'm going to share with you and demonstrate my favorite app, and in fact, I consider it the best app there is for scanning documents. Now, that's called Microsoft Lens. The app is Microsoft Lens. And why do I consider it my favorite app or the best? Well, for starters, it's completely free. Yes, there is no seven day trial period. There are no subscription fees. There is no ads running in it. It's completely free for lifetime. Secondly, it produces one of the most amazing high resolution document scanned images, which can be stored as both JPEG or PDF. And it can be uploaded directly to OneDrive. It can be stored in your phone gallery and you can mail it. You can do a variety of things. Thirdly, it's available for both iOS and Android for free. So again, it's not the platform based thing. Some apps are free in Android, some are not free in uh, iOS but this one is free in both. And fourthly, it can do some amazing things beyond just scanning documents. It combines the features of several other apps and beautifully integrates them into this app. For example, it has something called more actions where you can take out, extract the text from the document and copy the text and send it as a message to someone. So you have a sheet of paper and you have some document, something written on it. You want to send it, either you take the image and send the image or you don't want to show that you've got the image. You just want to send it as a text. You can do that. So say you want to send an SMS. So it's difficult to send it as an image. So what do you do? You capture it, extract the text, copy the text and send it. Another amazing thing it does, it reads back the text to you. Think of that. It reads back the text to you. And besides that, it, there are some other functions like it can take a business card and convert that into your contact information. So no need to type using a business card, no need to type all that information onto your phone to set as a contact. You can simply scan it and it converts that into a contact. And it also scans QR codes. So you have a QR code of a website to scan it. It will tell you which website it is. You tap it. It directly takes you to the website. So that being said, let's begin. So right now I'm using an Android phone. You can also use an iPhone. You hit the play store and it immediately shows you Microsoft lens because that's what I searched. So type Microsoft Lens, you'll get the first app, install it. And see how quickly it, in, it installs. It's just 4.95 MB. And with a fast internet connection, you can make sure that it downloads pretty fast. It is installed, now I open it. It'll ask you the uh, to allow it for your photos, media and files of your devices, say allow. And then it will give you some idea about what, what features it has. So we say start scanning, then say next. Uh, do you want to send the optional data? I don't want to send it. Then I close. Again, allow. And now it immediately goes for the document. As you can see at the bottom, your whiteboard, your document. So let's go for the document first. So here I have a document. This is actually an interview piece that I was planning. And I wanted to take this interview. So that's the document for it. Let me capture it. And uh, you can resize it. Of course, you can do that in many other apps too. But and you'll see all the bells and whistles shortly. 
so now i think i have got it right so then i hit confirm at the bottom right and then you can add if you look at the left corner it says add using this you can add some more pages into this single file it'll convert all of them into a single file since i have only one page i'll go for filters now and there are several filters to select from whiteboard black and white grayscale i prefer document so i hit document and see what it does it increases the contrast the whites become more white the blacks become more black now tap on the document above and then hit done and before you hit that see you can crop it you can rotate it if you hit more it lets you delete it it you can ink it you can write something on it you can put some external text on it and you can reorder the pages if you have scanned several pages so we're not going to do that to hit the document again and hit done and then it'll ask you the name what name you want to give i say interview there you go now you have the option of saving it to my gallery which is selected by default or you can save it uh, as a pdf document in documents you can send it to one note you can send it to one drive you can open it in word you can open it in powerpoint so many things but let's go to the bottom one immersive reader so i want to read now for that you need to sign in into your microsoft outlook account i have an account set up so there you go next now it's going to ask me the password and this i'm going to protect it it's my password sign in because this feature is enabled only when you have the account it need it need not be a paid account but i do have an office 365 subscription now look it has not only extracted the text it can read it out to you and if you look at got it if you hit at the gear icon at the bottom it will show you the speed at which it wants to read and the kind of voice you want i go with the female voice let me play it engineering as a stream has been a popular option for indian students after senior secondary education no surprises then that almost 12.3595 applied for the g main exam into 02 so of course there are some small errors which you can always rectify let me go back and i can save it in my gallery so i say hit save and there it goes into my gallery so i've already done it once in testing this is the file now you can open it in your gallery and that's the document let's go back and any time you want to visit all my files you just hit the three dots on, on on top and you can go to my files and it gets you back here so now let me go for actions now this is very interesting of course you can capture a whiteboard also so now let's go actions now actions you have the option of going with uh, extracted extract printed text got it okay we can extract printed text let's see if it does a good job let me focus on a smaller area so that you can get a better feel of this thing i'll go only this much it captures it and now i hit continue it's going to extract the text see how amazing this is and there you go the entire text has been extracted so beautifully and this is almost without any errors you can hit copy and you can share it in whatsapp or any other messaging app or you can share it here and it gives you various options for sharing directly instead of copying and pasting but if we don't want to do this right now so i hit the cross button close the session yes 
then it says extract table if you see the next one so let me get you a document which has a table in it so i hit table got it and here is my table and see how automatically it tries to fetch the table part okay let's extract again the table okay now hit continue and there you go see how the table has come up so beautifully you can do a little bit of editing because obviously it will not know which is superscript which is subscript and with a little bit of editing you get the entire table again you can copy and share it i don't want to do that right now discard yes now let's read so you can do the read function also from here which we have already tested now let's hit contact so let me have a business card so there's a business card here let me try to capture this and see if it can be saved into contacts there you go i'm fine with it continue just once it wants to create a contact and just see the mobile number is here the name is here and you can simply save it as a new contact in fact we can try this with another card business card let me take another business card this is where i get my laptops repaired so let's try this guy okay it continue just once and there you go all the numbers are there all the names are there and everything is just good to go let's discard this and now let's go for the qr code now i don't know what qr code this is so i just got it printed so let's check which contact oh it immediately shows me it's a youtube channel called product review let me hit that and lo and behold my product review channel has opened so simply scan the qr code and you get everything you want that's the amazing part of this particular app so it does everything and you can even take a photo with it so that's it from my side i hope you like this video and you like this app just uh, in the comment section below write down the kind of app you use and try and use this app and tell me your experience with it with that this is kalyan kumar signing off have a great great day safe day be careful thanks for watching this video